So this past weekend, I went to play disc golf with Spud and Christian. These are the founders of the house I live in currently, the co-space. And they view everything differently. They think of everything as a journey. And this is really interesting to me because it dawned on me that everyone is at a different point in this journey. And instead of thinking of someone who's being difficult or screwing up, if you mindfully recognize that they are at a different point in their journey, it shifts your mind from being reactive to proactive. So what is this journey that I'm talking about? I'm talking about the hero's journey. This was discovered by Joseph Campbell, who was an American mythologist who studied all types of literature. And he discovered that from Asia to Africa to Europe to the America, there's a pattern in all the stories. And this was the hero's journey. There's three big components here. The first one is separation. This is when an individual is called to an adventure. This is like the urge you get to do something different from your current circumstances. The second one is initiation. This is when the individual or you go through these road of trials. This is when you're traveling down a really challenging path. You're facing a lot of resistance. And you know deep down that this is the only way to go to reach what you want to get. And in, in this road of trials, you face your greatest fear. And this could be talking in front of large groups of people or asking out someone who you truly love. And th when you look at movies, this is a great example. Before things can get better, you reach this crisis point. And this is your darkest hour. This is when the character in the movies is injured or is about to die. And in this transformation, they're reborn again. And they overcome their greatest fear. And then the third component, which is returning, returning to this new life, and they've outgrown their old life. And in this new life, they've reached a new status quo. And the really cool thing about this hero's journey is that it's a cycle. And every time you go through it, you're going to go through a different journey. So what I'm talking about is there's a journey within all of us. From trying out for a sports team to love, this pattern lies within all of us, which is really interesting. Because at some point, we as individuals need to go outside our comfort zone and go through these difficult trials because that's the only way to achieve your goals, your dreams, whatever you want. So the next time you're having a difficult time with someone or someone that's simply just making you angry, ask yourself this question, what part of the journey are they on? Because once you shift your mind from this way of thinking, to this new way of thinking, you're going to be able to see individuals as heroes rather than people who are being incredibly difficult. This will keep your mindset in this really positive attitude where you're going to see good in every single person. And in the big component of living a mindful life is to see people as good, as positive energies. And that's the only way you can really move forward and change the world around you. So keep that in mind the next time you're dealing with someone that's difficult or someone who you think is screwing up. You know, think about it and always refer back to the hero's journey because everyone is a hero and everyone is at a different point in this journey.